no, I don't like the breathing sound effects. I just, I just don't like breathing sound effects in general. The sound of breathing really bugs me. Surprising lack of music. Press and hold the L1 button to crouch and then move forward. Okay. It done. You know very well it does. <laughs> Mr. Noodle. Careful you don't fall. Falling from this height or above will hurt. Okay. So falling hurts. Got it. Run by holding down the L2 button and holding forward. Okay. Can we invert controls, maybe? Vibration mode? Yeah, turn on vibration. Why wouldn't we? Uh, It's kind of weird that they call it up-down aim. I mean, <laughs> just used to knowing it as, you know, vertical. But, hey, whatever. Okay, we can scare doves, so I'm assuming that's a way that things could end up hearing us, or people could end up hearing us. You can hear at least if you do audio only. <laughs> okay, well, sorry the video's not working for you. Yeah, I wasn't lucky enough to get selected by the transcoder tonight, it looks like. So, uh, it's full quality only. And, uh, creepy scarecrow follows us, so that's cool. Uh, I did end up selecting pro. How screwed am I, Nate? I'm assuming, uh, pretty screwed, to be honest, since I've never actually played through like a hitman game before I'm, I'm sure i've tried them at some point or at least one or two of them but i don't remember which ones or anything okay so we can't go in there can we do anything with the window maybe it's time to go to confession okay looks like uh that's where we'll store our guns and crap eventually once we have all that sort of stuff there's little piggies look at the little piggies Oh, we can actually go in there. Can we can we pet the piggies? They're scared of us. Okay, they don't actually seem that scared. Not really doing anything though either. I can't interact with them or anything. So when I could say hi to the piggies. Is this where we're going to confession it? Oh nope, this is just more area. Okay. So maybe that's the one that we go through. I'm assuming there's not like some huge secrets in the beginning of the game where we need to explore everything. I'm sure there will be secrets and stuff later, but. Mr. Noodle cheered five bits. Thank you, Mr. Noodle. I didn't even know you had any bits. Appreciate it. Thank you. Love you. Okay, how do we... Where are we going, I guess, is the real question here. I mean, confession, I know that much. I'm assuming confession isn't going to be on the next floor. <laughs> here we go. Here we go, confession box. Padre, I have sinned. Avanti, figlio mio. Continue, my son. I have done some terrible things in my life. I... I have killed... many people. For money, out of ignorance... Out of evil, out of hatred. Figlio mio, I know you well. You are also a good person. I have seen you taking care of the garden. I know of the large amount of money you donated to the church. Your soul is on the right path. But father, I do not belong. I'm not of this world. So why should God forgive me? Do not worry, my son. When your time comes, he will have a place for you as well. Just keep God in your heart. Now I must leave. Stay a while and pray. Lead me, O oh, Heavenly Father, in the path of right. I walk along and stumble in the dark. Show me the light and I'll go there. Let me find peace in my own heart and save me from my enemies. So wait, when he says I'm not of this earth, does he mean literally? Purtroppo la chiesa è chiusa. Venite domani, per favore. Benvenuto, vecchio amico mio. Non è questo il momento di darci per appuntamento. Favore, aiutatemi, lasciatemi, lasciatemi, per favore. Why, lasciatemi. why are they beating a priest? That... <laughs> what the heck is that? Porca troia, taci! Sta giù, giù, giù! Seems a little ridiculous.
Hello. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome, Nate. Welcome, Noodle. Anyone else who may be uh, hanging out, not talking in chat at the moment? Hello and welcome, guys, to the PS2 Gauntlet. Hell yeah. Tonight, we're going to have so much fun playing some NASCAR of all things. Oh, boy. Let me tell you how excited I am for NASCAR. Now, I will say, though, like, okay, sports games, not my favorite. NASCAR, as far as driving stuff goes, kind of boring for me, personally. Like, I'd much rather play, I like racing games, right? But I'd much rather play, like, a Gran Turismo if it's going to be serious racing or have it be, like, Need for Speed if it's just going to be stupid racing, you know? Something like that. NASCAR is a little bit too, uh, turn left <laughs> for me, but with that said, one of them, I don't remember exactly which one, if it was this one, if it was one of the other ones, um, uh, that's cool, uh, we're gonna leave the settings on default, anyways, though, um, I do remember, I don't remember if it was this one or a different one, but one of them actually was pretty neat in the way that, like, the drivers interacted with each other and stuff like that. So, like, that's neat, you know? If you get to pick your driver, pick Jeff Burton. I think you don't pick your driver. I think you make your own driver and then go from there. Um, There's Ward Burton. Oh, there's Jeff Burton, number 99. You got it. <laughs> it doesn't... I, I, I don't know any of them. I know Dale Arnhart, right? And then wasn't there, like, his son or, or dad or something like that was a driver or something? I don't know, man. I never really cared for NASCAR all that much. Watching, playing, whatever. Arnhart and Junior. Yeah, see, I I thought there was a... Uh, one of them was a Junior. <laughs> uh, Jeff Gordon... I've, I've heard that name. I don't really know who it is or anything like that, but I've heard that name at least, Jeff Gordon. Um, anyway, so I don't remember which NASCAR game it was that actually was kind of interesting to play. I think it may have been this one, though. I think. I'm not positive, but I know, like, the fight to the top thing, I think, was something along those lines, right? Because you were, like, a rookie driver trying to fight your way to the top, getting into rivalries with other drivers and shit, slowly upgrading your... your whatever <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah hopefully it was that one your dad like jeff burton yep yep i mean we can set that as my favorite here it's fine with me <laughs> so i'm guessing this is our driver i oh that's ryan newman Oh, damn, guys. It's Ryan Newman. Oh, shit. I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, How do we... Did it ever tell us how to race? Okay, yeah. Looks like X, X is go. That's good. We, we steer with the left stick. Okay, I don't think it was this one, actually, that I played now that I'm playing it. Because uh, this definitely isn't traditional NASCAR racing right here. Also, can I just say, guys, look at the rear view mirror. Look at that horrendous frame rate in the rear view mirror. <laughs> isn't, isn't that amazing? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm happy there's a rear view mirror, period. But oh boy, is it a, is it a, is it a thing, man? The whole game, it is very blocky, isn't it? Like, not... It doesn't look bad, per se, but you can see every flipping pixel, man. <laughs> like, uh, they're all standing right up. Hey! No, screw you, dude! Ah, what? I... I'm very upset right now. We were beating him the entire time! How did he pull out right at the end like that? He cheated. <laughs> Alright, we probably don't need to take the turns as safe as we did. Um... I'm assuming we, we would be okay with uh, uh with gunning it a little bit more between them. Hopefully hopefully this Viper here can keep up. Keep the keep the tires on the ground, man. 
I mean, it is a, like this right here is a pretty big turn. It feels weird going around at full speed, but it's a wide turn, I guess. Did I say big turn? I meant, I meant wide. Wait, did it just auto break for me? I think it just auto broke for me. Uh, are there like assists in this game? Like big assists? I kind of hope not. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I guess it's not that bad. Maybe I'm uh maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Anyways, that time we like basically never pressed the the break and we were fine. You have to try to remind me to let you know who made an OF when you're done. Oh my god, it's so what? Okay. <laughs> so it's a weird thing to bring up out of nowhere, but alright. So we beat Ryan Newman in a street race, so now he's offering us a, uh, now he's offering us a racing thing. Cool. Uh, racing contract. You just won your first race and fight to the top mode. Race your way to the top through Ford NASCAR series. Featherlight, Craftsman Truck, NASCAR National, and Nextel. I'm assuming those are all real things, but, like, I don't know. Oh, hi, kitty. I have a cat. <laughs> all right so this is our name our first name's new our last name's driver that's what it's gonna stay unless someone tells me to change it because uh gotta be honest do not care uh age how how young can we be we can be 18 to 70 i think we all know how old we're gonna be uh team name type tiburon tiburon i don't i don't know is there any like ridiculous oh dude can we be... Yeah, I want to be a tiny dude with a big ass head. <laughs> uh, excuse me, cat. I would like it if your tail wasn't in my face. Stop hitting buttons on my controller, Miss Kitty. Okay? I'm, I'm trying to play a video game here. That is... That's, that's, that's our driver. Oh, is Katie visiting you? Yes, Katie is visiting. Settings designed to provide a more forgiving racing experience is not recommended for hardcore racers. This setting is designed for experienced racers. Pitting is required in the top three series. This setting is designed for our hardcore fans. Damage cannot be repaired in this mode, and races are run with cautions. Setting allows you to customize your fight to the top experience. I guess we'll do advanced. AI difficulty veteran. Driving assist limited. Unlimited fuel and tires off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Advanced sounds pretty good. Yes, I want to start with advanced. Hi. I'm busy at the moment. I can't pet you. I know. That's just tragic, isn't it? She's petting herself with my hand. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to play the game, and she's taking her face and rubbing it all over me and uh, my hands that are on the controller. So if I start randomly pushing buttons, that's why. Ace Moneymaker? Is that what they just said? Well, listen up, because Ryan's got a featherlight modified ride, and he wants you to drive it this season. Okay. When you're done hanging up the phone, click on select event, I... and you can get your racing career started. You gotta trust me here, this deal is pure gold. I'll be calling you from time to time, so when I call you, I need you to do me a favor and pick up the phone. When you hear the phone ring, press the circle button to answer it. Alright, man, I'll talk to you later. Good luck, buddy. I don't know if you guys can actually like hear the voices at all, but it did not say what it says on the screen, like even a little bit. <laughs> Maybe this is the one that I played, it, unless uh, other NASCAR games had a similar feature, because I remember having that bar over on the right, where you could go from hero to villain, depending on how you race. Like if you race very clean and whatnot, then you get more of like a hero status, but if you're purposefully wrecking people or just driving recklessly all the time and whatnot, then you can get a bit of a villain status and it changes some of the the little like quests and things that you can get like as far as hey rude thank you so much for the resub man i appreciate it your desktop was mean to you that's why you're late how was your desktop mean to you what happened what did your desktop do i want to hear all about it <laughs> anyway so yeah so yeah it has the whole it has the whole hero villain thing which is uh interesting i like it i like that as far as as far as NASCAR games go, I appreciate that. 
Um, I guess we'll just get right into the select event. Uh, our phone's ringing. Hi. This is where you access all your race events. You can select the event you want to run here. However, sometimes you might encounter scheduling conflicts, and you're going to have choices to make. You can also choose not to participate in an event, but you won't earn any points or money. Your whole PC just froze, and then Firefox closed, and then forced an update? What the hell, dude? What the hell? Anyways, come to the select event screen when you're ready to go racing. Okay, let's go racing. Why not, man? <laughs> a red passing indicator identifies a rivalry. I like it. Rough driving and intimidating leads to rivalries. Got it. NASCAR. Yeah, so excited for NASCAR. Woo! <laughs> EA Sports is proud to welcome oh, to God. The Raceway for the running of the I need to turn down my headphones just a little bit. Modified series there we go. Will be pushed to the limit as uh, the happy the hour. What the hell is happy hour? A lot of up and coming drivers have made Practice, I get. Qualify, sure, I got it. Start race, race, understood. Car setup, I right. imagine you can change some stuff about your car, but what the fuck is happy hour? Tire force, down force, suspension, gear ratios, default. We'll just leave it on default for now. Uh, we're clicking on happy hour because I don't know what the hell it is. Is it like practice mode? Or maybe maybe we can just like drive any way that we want. Like forward, back. Maybe we're just showing off for the fans. I don't... I'm confused, man. I, I admit. I have no idea. Okay, so we can't quite take the turns at full speed, but damn near. Katie, K Katie, that's my microphone that you're that you're hitting. <laughs> Look, you you can sit up here, but I need you to lay down on my lap there, kitty. Just just sit there. Stop pacing back and forth, forcing yourself to get some attention. <laughs> I need you. She's rubbing her face. She's marking my desk, rubbing her face all over me. I can't. I can't right now, kitty. Okay. I'm. I'm very sorry, but it's not gonna work. Hey, psycho. What's up, man? I need you to calm down, kitty. Why are you being so needy right now? Noodle, have you fed them? Can you please feed them? <laughs> if you haven't fed the cats, maybe she'll come down. If she can have some food. I mean, you are like an hour late feeding them, after all. Katie is obsessed with me. That's that's the problem. And like, before, Katie would just, uh... Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm not trying to be a dickhead already to people. Um, and But like, before, she didn't really get in the bedroom all that much. She mostly stayed out of the bedroom. Um, but she's slowly getting more comfortable with coming up in here, which is fine. Like, she's allowed up in here, but, like, holy hell, dude. Kit, Kit, Katie, I need that hand to press the buttons there, Miss, Miss Cat. Holy shit, we might need to go down to the easier mode unless we're meant to lose here in the beginning. Uh, let's go. How, how are they so far ahead of me? I know I had a bit of a rough start, but holy hell, dude. Four point five seconds between me and the leader. The the, the leader. Did I say litter or leader? I don't know. I was reading litter. But I was trying to say leader. Oh lord, those two words sound way too similar to each other. <laughs> Okay, maybe we're not meant to win. Okay, that's the mic. Yep, you just pushed it right into my face. Anyways, maybe we're not meant to win right from the from the get-go. I don't know. Holy fuck. There was a wreck. Holy shit, dude. Oh, God. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to, to uh, collide with a bunch of people, but I guess that's what's happening. Oh, every time we touch the wall, we lose skill points. That totally makes sense, though, honestly. 
Oh my god. Jesus fuck. Okay, yep. Oh fuck. Ow. <laughs> We're so fucked, dude. Uh, good first race. Good for. Okay, well, I think. I think uh, our, our rival was a little pissed off. Halfway on full. Okay, so we're fine. We still have half our full, it says. And uh, we're on lap 9 of 12, so we're, we're fine. Oh, there. Our rival made it back to us already? Your mom's fast. Uh, fuel! So do you want me to feed her now? Yeah, feed her now. Well, I mean, she finally calmed down. So if you don't want to feed her right this moment, you don't have to. She's finally just sitting on my leg instead of, uh, instead of, you know, being all up on me. Holy shit, dude. We made, like, multiple rivals. I really wasn't trying to, but we did. Ow. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna lose. <laughs> At least we're not in last place, though. Which, uh, until that, until that big wreck happened is, is honestly what I expected. I'm assuming, though, that we're not meant to win right from the get-go. I'm assuming. I could be completely wrong. So we're 13 seconds behind, considering... Oh, shit, yeah, we just got... <laughs> we just got a bunch of rivals. Uh... Okay, uh, we don't really need to watch the highlight reel or whatever. I don't really care about all that. You screwed up. Oh, you mean in the, the tic-tac-toe game? Noodle, guess what? Noodle, guess what? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's up to you. If you don't want to feed her right now, you don't have to. Or you could feed her now and then just give her treats to get her to, to go in the cage before we go to bed or whatever. Uh, phone? No, why? Why would you do that? Who wants to donate 5,000 points so I don't have to? <laughs> I can't, Katie. Okay, Noodle. I I lied. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to feed her. As soon as I moved, she started getting all up on me again. Katie, stop. Stop it. You done now? You, you done, cat? No? Okay. Yes, you, you look very pretty today. Uh-huh. Yeah. You want to go get food? Maybe Noodle will give you food. Make sure you, like, shake it really loud so that she can hear that there's food, so maybe she'll come downstairs. Oh, she hears you yelling. She's coming. She's coming. Thank God, dude. Holy hell. That was killing me. Oh, Rue. I despise you. I just want you to know this. I I don't like sing mode. Uh she looks angry. She'll be fine. She's a she's a big girl cat. <laughs> Alright, let's start the next race and um I'm gonna play a race right now. Do da do da <laughs> I'm gonna play a race right now, Duda, all day long. Uh, Mary had a little lamp, little lamp, little lamp. <laughs> a, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is for you, uh, B, B. <laughs> oh... I hate doing sing mode, but it's what you all make me do. Well, not really. All of you usually just rule. She's the, or they're the one that uh, hates me the most. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm there was a cow. E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink there, an oink oink here, there an oink, here an oink, everywhere an oink oink. <laughs> Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Why the hell are our tires slipping? Oh shit, we can't keep control. Holy fuck, it's really not working. Uh, E-I-E-I-O. Cows go oink if you want. 
E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> that cow can be a pig just fine. Uh, e -I -I <laughs> Old McDonald had a pig. E-I-E-I-O. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I can't remember how songs go when you guys make me do this shit. All I know is my brain turns to mush when I have to do sing songy voices. I still don't understand what happy hour is. All I know is it's uh racing, basically. And that's it. I don't know any off the top of my head. My brain is literally mush. I'd have to look it up to do it. And even then it won't be good. Ah, God. The controls really feel touchy, fuck. Yeah, I'm trying to get inside voice in my head. But it's not that easy. For some reason the car really fucking controls like shit. Oh, fuck. Stay off the wall. Thank you. <laughs> I'm seriously going to make another that cancels sing mode early. The only reason I haven't yet is because I've forgotten. Honestly. <laughs> Jesus, fuck, dude. Get on the track. Why is it so slippery? Are our tires not warm? They might be cold or just filled with jello. I don't fucking know. There's only four seconds between me and the leader. Of course, I'm pretty sure it was like that before. It doesn't really matter how far there is, because unless they wreck, we're screwed. I feel like it's had to be five minutes by now. But I forgot to look at the clock. I guess we're having burgers too. Honestly, that's fine with me. Fuck. That's gonna be really bad for my time. But it is uh, what it is, I suppose. Oh fuck, now we're neg seven. Instead of the neg four we were before. At least I didn't hit the wall. Hey, we're finally passing someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck oh god well there we go we hit the wall on the left now Jesus fuck dude is there a way maybe we should have looked and seen like if we could spend some skill points or something I don't know if we need to upgrade our car or ourselves but holy shit is it touchy dude that may just be how feather light works though I've definitely never driven a feather light car before in real life uh, and and as far as I can remember in a video game although like I said earlier I do think I might have played this game before so there's a possibility I've done all this and just kind of forgotten about it unless they have a very similar game mode in another NASCAR game which they may oh also speaking of having uh, burgers noodle and I are going out tomorrow so for that reason the stream is going to be just a little bit earlier ending a little bit earlier than usual instead of uh, the two o'clock that we've been trying to do we're gonna end it at about 1 30 um, just so I can get ready for bed just a little bit earlier because we're probably gonna have to wake up early tomorrow to uh, to go on our date day we are doing we're going out to see some animals we're having like a little um, a little a little safari getaway thing that we're doing which should be fun and then we are probably just gonna hang out in the shopping district for a little bit get some food and then uh, we're going to watch the new Jurassic World movie that uh, noodle already got us tickets for so yeah should all be a lot of fun honestly oh sounds fun yeah dude I'm excited for it honestly the only thing I'm not excited for is it's supposed to be hot as freaking balls tomorrow and uh that's not gonna be fun but other than that though it should actually be a really nice day together the uh the place that we're going to is uh shutting down we went for i think it was an anniversary of ours a few years ago 
and uh, we had fun. Noodle absolutely loves seeing animals and stuff, so I mean, of course, it was fun. Uh, I like them too, but but Noodle's the the main reason we we go to these sorts of things. Anyways, um, and we saw that they were shutting down, so uh, we had planned on going this year anyways. But after seeing that they were shutting down, we were like, okay, yeah, no, we, we have to go now. Like, we don't have a choice. We have to go this year because if we don't, we'll never get to go again. So, like, yeah. It just is what it is, you know? Ah, oh, fuck. We were going to actually go on Noodle's birthday when I took that vacation. But, uh... But we didn't end up getting to go because they weren't open on the days that we wanted to go. Holy fuck, why is my car going all over the place? How am I catching up to these guys now? You're doing good. Clear on both sides. Clear on both sides? Your mom's clear on both sides. Oh, God. Why is the car, like... Oh, shit, dude. Is it... I wonder if it's harder to control whenever you're near the other cars. Like, if it's simulating the... the I know it does the draft off of the cars, obviously. But I can't help but wonder if it's also kind of simulating, like, turbulence. Air turbulence? Because, holy shit, dude. Like, the car seems a lot harder to maneuver whenever we're, we're surrounded by other people. So we placed 20th. Actually worse. But... We, uh... Hey, we got an ally. That's cool, I guess. Anyways, technically worse, but there wasn't, like, a huge wreck. So, I guess that's that's why. Race winnings, a whole $587. I mean, for one day of work, I guess not bad. I wouldn't complain about, uh... I wouldn't complain about getting, you know, $600 for, for going around a track for five minutes. But I feel like that's actually kind of shit, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to look for Mr. Noodle's last can of their uh, their Jurassic World shaving cream, too. That's never actually going to be used. It's just going to sit on a shelf forever. Like, <laughs> Noodle does have a whole list of places in their phone they want to go. That's true, too. Uh, animal places. All of them are animal places. Hi, phone. Hi, Ace. The most important attribute that you can have. The big time okay. Do well, get more money. That makes sense. You could have just said that. Didn't didn't need a whole phone call to know that if I win races, I'll probably make more money. Big surprise, I know. Why are we starting in the first week of 2004 when this is NASCAR 2005? That's weird. When did EA start naming their, their sports games like one year ahead? Was that always a thing? Like, was th did this game release in 2004, even though it's NASCAR 2005? Maybe that's what it is? I don't know. Anyways, though. Uh, my NASCAR, maybe? Thunderplates. What the fuck is a Thunderplate? Oh, I'm not wasting money on that race shop. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Phone. Use the race shop. Uh, use the race shop screen to view contracts, sign contracts, buy a race team, or manage your own team. Well, we're only in the feather light right now, so uh, four percent of merchandise, twelve percent of winnings, twelve percent of winning. I mean, okay. To be fair, I guess they are paying a lot of money for like the cars and shit like that. I'll give them that. Uh, best lap show room edit driver. I'm guessing that's just our cosmetics, so I don't really care. Create five medium skill tracks. Wait, what? Win fight to the top pro level. Okay, so this is so we got points from all this, but how do we spend them? Maybe we do have to go to edit driver. Uh, no. How the fuck do we... Oh, wait. There was a continue button. Maybe that does something. Add a driver. And then instead of going back, start to continue? Nope. That just took us back here. How the fuck... Do we do anything with our driver? Cal oh, okay. Yep. I got the season info screen. Very cool game. 
By the way, Katie's eating outside of her cage, so good luck getting her inside it. It'll be fine, Noodle. We'll figure it out. How do I spend my fucking points, dude? So, like, there's the race shop. But I can't do anything because my contract's not worn out. Um... Phone messages? Game status? I, it wouldn't be in game status, right? Yeah, no, that's just our progress. And then if we go to skill points, it just shows us how many points we've earned. It, it, I'm very confused, man. Enter the best lap screen. Finish top five in any series. Uh, okay. I'm guessing that's something we have to unlock then. I don't know how else that would work. What? No, we don't want to exit flight to the top. Whatever, we're just going to do another race because I have no fucking idea. Honestly. I <laughs> I don't know if we can spend them somewhere. I assume we can. Why else would it give us points? Plus, no, yeah, you have to be able to spend them somewhere. Race clean to earn points. Complete bonus tasks for more. Skill points are used to unlock thunder plates. Wait, seriously? That's it? That's all the skill points are used for is thunder plates? What the fuck are thunder plates good for? <laughs> I guess we'll I guess we'll look at that again after we're done here. I want more downforce. Oh wait. Hmm, maybe not actually. Can we see the I guess we could go to happy hour or practice. We'll go to practice. I just need to see the map really so I have an idea of if we need to prioritize top speed, if we need to prioritize handling. Oh, cool. Okay, so at least with Featherlight, I don't know if it'll be different with the other cars, but at least for Featherlight here, we actually have a pretty uh a pretty decent track. You know, it's got some like actual turns and shit, which is really bad for me cuz uh <laughs> cuz I am definitely going to fuck this car up. I am in no way comfortable driving these these cars in this game yet and it just feel it feels so fucking touchy compared to oh shit that's that's the pit okay we don't want to we don't want to drive ourselves into that but it feels so touchy compared to something like uh gran turismo 7 for instance the the only racing game i've really been playing recently like, on this game, man, you barely touch the stick right or left, and the whole car just wants to fucking go. And that may have something to do with this style car. I don't have much experience driving this kind of car in video games. The the whole Featherlight thing. Okay, so that turn, we need to remember, we actually got to slow down for. Like, this one, it's telegraphed, right? We, we, can, we can make our way around it pretty simple, probably. But... That one back there kind of kind of sneaks up on you, and she's a doozy. See, the big bank on this one helps. We can take that at basically full speed. Then I imagine we're going to have to slow down for this one, too, a fair bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So the last turn before the lap and the second turn after the lap are the two that we need to be careful for. This is going to be our last practice lap. So slow down a little bit for that one, and then slow down big time for that one. We could probably also just make our driving line a little bit better. If we if we cut it in a little bit more, we could probably take it a bit quicker. It's just it's kind of hard to follow a line in this one because controlling the vehicle feels so weird. I don't know. Is it a like slow frame rate or something maybe? Is it a uh, is the frame rate that low? Like it's that I I I'm fairly certain it's not 60. Right? I'm guessing I'm guessing high 20s, low 30s. But I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, no. I'm not going to sit here and do this all day. The one thing I will do, excuse me. The one thing I will do is give ourselves a little bit more downforce honestly let's just yeah let's just put it all the way up man 
and uh we'll leave everything else the same why not that looks good okay quit session yep we'll do the qualifier because if we are able to not start in last place that would probably help i don't see it happening but it will help theoretically you have 18 tulips and 27 parsnips planted and started very nice man the uh i like the flowers to eat honestly in stardew uh they also make pretty decent gifts a lot of people like flowers in stardew valley uh the majority i think i think it's the majority don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure it's the majority of uh citizens in, in stardew like flowers so it's a pretty it's a pretty decent gift that you can give to people uh, but they're also very nutritious. Damn near, damn near every flower in that game gives you a fair bit of uh, energy refill. So it's a pretty decent thing, too, if you just need to plant something so that you can, you know, do more work every day. Because everybody plays differently, but for me at least, I try, tend to try to max out my, uh, my days, you know? Try to, uh work from the time that I wake up until basically like 12 ish at night with very little uh, stopping in between is kind of how okay yep we're going off road there it's kind of how I like to do things but to each their own you know I definitely know there are players that tend to go to bed at like 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon and there's nothing wrong with that that's one of the beautiful things about games like Stardew Valley man there is no wrong way to play it. I mean, technically, I guess that's every video game, you know? Are you having fun with it? Unless it's an online multiplayer game and you're cheating, then, like, it really doesn't fucking matter how you're playing a game. If you're having fun, you're playing it right. Like, <laughs> that's uh, that's all there really is to it, I guess, at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're in position number 22, so we're, we're doing good there. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're spinning out. Okay. I feel like that was a little bit better. I actually had to pause for a second and focus because <laughs> I'm trying to get a good time here, but it's, uh, it's not going so well for me. There we go. Okay. Yep. This is the last turn. We need to remember to slow down on this one. I don't know how fast we can go. I mean, honestly, if that speedometer is accurate down there, 70 some miles per hour around a turn like that still feels pretty fucking fast. You know what I mean? Like, I would be scared to take that turn 70 some miles per hour in real life. That's for sure. So we didn't we didn't end up doing any better, sadly, there. But uh, oh well, is what it is, I guess. Hi, Mr. Foster. Uh, excuse me. Can I? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep. I'm not trying to get contact. It's just really hard to do anything with these people. Okay, yep. I'm being knocked off the road. I wasn't trying to hit you. I'm sorry. Honestly, I apologize. I, I don't like rough driving. <laughs> oh, God. I don't, am I getting like nervous when I'm around the other cars? Why is it so much harder to do anything? I guess it's just because you have to be more precise. So you're not like ramming into them and shit. Like, you know, I just did. And, uh, I'm struggling with that, I guess. That's the only, that's the only explanation I can come up with at least. Whatever you need, just clear. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, man. Is that my rival? I think that's a rival, right? Cause he's got the little thing on him. Oh God! Yep. Hey. Yep. I'm. I I like riding the wall, man. The wall. The wall is good for you. Fuck. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh shit. Okay. It's a good thing the damage is basically cosmetic only, because otherwise I'm pretty sure we would be completely fucked. We're working on farm cleanup and money. And leveling your farming and foraging for now. You're only on day 10 on this one. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. I don't know. My, uh... The way I generally play Stardew Valley is my first year is just kind of focused on... 
doing whatever. You know, honestly, like getting to know the villagers, getting comfortable with the game, just having fun with it. And then my second year, while also still trying to do stuff like farming and things like that, of course. And then my second year is usually focused more on the whole, uh, oh God. Honestly, I was kind of hoping I could hit my, my rival there and he would stop me from going out of bounds or off the, the track. But I think he, I think he caught on to what we were trying to do. Oh, hi, we can get rid of the HUD. That's neat. What do R1, L1, all that do? Absolutely nothing, it feels like. Oh, that turns off the rear view mirror, which, I don't know, might help the frame rate a little bit. Anyways, and then year two is when I usually start to be like, okay, what haven't I done? You know, what fish haven't I caught yet? What uh, what things do I need to complete the, the, the community center if I haven't already completed it? Um, what can I do to make more money if I'm doing a Jojo Mart run or, or trying to get something specific? Stuff like that. But that's just my play style. I've also recently, my first time playing Stardew Valley, I wasn't that into sprinklers. But recently I've gotten a lot more into sprinklers. They, they really do help a lot. It's just I like the farming aspect of those games, you know? I grew up with, with Harvest Moon and sprinklers didn't exist. So I was just used to, to, you know, doing all the farming myself. And, uh, so yeah, I'm not, like, against the use of sprinklers at all. In fact, like I said, I, I kind of, I kind of grown to like them a fair bit. I'm not trying to hit you, Kelly Walker. I apologize. Oh, fuck. There's a wall. It's fine. We don't need that, right? That's just a, that's just a kick plate. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck, that's... I was trying to get him. I was trying to get him with the rear tire. But I think I was too far up. We need to just barely nick him on the back end. Here you go, Mr. Foster. You ready? Oh, God. I don't have the... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> just, I, I don't have the driving skills for this. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, get fucked, Foster. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i can't i can't turn around how do i how do i reverse oh there we go it's triangle okay there we go that uh yep how did i change the camera Ooh. no we're definitely not doing first person in this game pretty sure that would make me sick wait a second how am i position 22 i literally flipped that dude upside down how am i in last place i call bullshit okay Something, something about this game is smelling awfully fishy right now. Uh, you be careful, buddy. Tell me what to do. You'll burn Jojo Mart before you do a run. <laughs> oh man. It's just after playing like hundreds of hours of the game, I do think the community center is the is a more fun way to play the game. Honestly, it's just after playing you know hundreds of hours of the game. I wanted a different way. I wanted to try it a different way. So, Jojo Mart. That's, uh, short of starting proper challenge runs, that's about the only other way I can play it. But, uh, Noodle and I ob obviously are playing together. And in our personal world together, we are not doing Jojo Mart. We're doing the community center. Which I'm, I'm happy to be doing again, though, honestly. Because I haven't played the game through all three years uh like the three main years or anything i haven't played it till the end game since the game came out right i i've hopped in i've played a few months here played a few months there um tried out a couple different things looked at the the release notes the patch notes and shit but i haven't actually gotten to the end game since the game came out so i'm, I'm happy to be doing the community center with mr noodle so that we can experience that end game stuff together, me and her, which, uh, you know, which I've been missing. There we go. That was actually, that was actually a pretty good. That was actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good little lap there. Oh, we cut our lap time too, 47.79. It turns out that if I, uh, focus a little bit, I'm not as terrible. <laughs> Still not good, just not as terrible. And hey, we can beat that bitch Foster at least, maybe. 
Hopefully. Gonna try. How did you get... Yeah, that's right. Stay fucking back there, Foster, you piece of shit. <laughs> Ooh. That's fair, but when he came in with the coupon Spears, you were like, nope, don't like him. Yeah, that was a pretty shitty move on his end, I feel like. But, like, honestly, though, once you play the game and you see how Pierre is the entire time, neither one are great, right? Like, they're just not. <laughs> Pierre's, like, basically his entire personality just focuses around the fact that, um that he owns a shop and that's all he does he just runs his shop and he even talks about how he is trying to become the next jojo Mart, uh, uh, essentially he doesn't literally say that but he insinuates as much by saying like that he wants to open up more shops and uh get better profits and blah 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 blah, blah you know you're sounding like your grandma's niece passed oh dude i'm sorry that does fucking suck that really sucks dude I hope your uh, I hope your grandma's doing okay. That sucks. There's really there's really no good way to uh to say that, you know. It's just, that's a fucking downer, dude. That's for sure. Only a few years younger than your grandma too. Yeah, that sucks, man. We'll po apologize to McFarland. I uh, I don't have anything against McFarland. Nine. Heckin' Numlock. Yeah, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's go to the race shop, I guess. So we can see real quick what those whatchamacallits are about. The the something plates, what what were they called? Not not the race shop. That's our contract thing. Our contract's gonna get downgraded, I just know it. Uh is it my NASCAR? No, not skill points. Thunder Thunder plates? Whatever the fuck they're called. Why does it take us clear back here? Thunder plates. Do these do anything? Oh, you need five thousand to unlock one of them? Holy shit, okay, so we can't actually afford it. Oh wait, no. No, we can't afford some of them. Okay. New event. Oh. So these unlock race poles, whatever the fuck that is. These unlock new events. Oh my god, this is the worst way to have this laid out. Why Why can't I change it to like... Toggle on, off. I don't know what that means. Why can't we, we have it be like by fucking price or something? New driver? New paint? What, what? What? Why? Why do they do this? New sponsors? I mean, I imagine unlocking new sponsors might be good for money. Production cars? Um, okay. So, let's just, I don't know, man. Let's just fucking unlock, I guess, a new event? Sure, whatever. Martinsville Night Track. Cool. I just, <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I'm glad that they have, like, unlock shit like that. That's nice. But, like, that's a terrible fucking menu for it, man. Real bad. Anyways, guys. Uh, we are going to take a quick break. It's been nearly an hour. Not quite. We're about 15 minutes early. But, of course, we are ending about a half hour early tonight. So, we can't dilly-dally too long. And then we'll be right back with some more, um, probably me turning into a villain and NASCAR because, yeah, we fucking suck. <laughs> um, I was going to say maybe we should start over, but leave it on easy mode. I might actually do that while we're in, uh, while we're on the break. Just so, just so we can get like some action against the other cars at least. Because, yeah. Either I suck or you're just meant to suck this early in the game. Probably a mix of both. Anyways, we're going to take that break. We will be right back. For, uh, guys, fuck. Screwing everything up. BRB. I'm assuming they're after me. But yeah, are we not human or something? The hitman? The whole, like, I'm not of this world thing is what's got me confused. It says, all good. Like I said, it's my service. It's been a minute since I played that specific one, but pro is always a challenge. Heck. 
that game is one where it is either easy or you're praying to your god god's difficult <laughs> awesome okay so what you're saying is we're definitely screwed cool <laughs> at least that's how it went for you yeah i i don't expect to fare a whole lot better to be honest i know very little about the hitman franchise find the parcel i mean it was on the main floor right just had to go back out the door here i assume the same way we came in Through the keyhole. Okay, I don't see anybody. Is there even a keyhole on this door? Doesn't really look like it. Okay. We got the parcel. What's in the parcel? Also, why am I wearing an apron? Benvenuto in Sicilia by Simon. We hope you enjoyed the famous Italian hospitality on our beautiful island. However, there will be a slight charge for your stay. We will prepare a cash transfer of five hundred thousand dollars. No later than midnight the day after tomorrow. Meanwhile, we'll be entertaining your host, Padre Vittorio. He very much enjoys fishing. We are making sure he is happy that way until payment has been effected. Le sentirà de noi. Giuseppe Giuliano. Five hundred thousand dollars. Can't pay that. I'm going to the garden shed. Time to dig up the past. So this is basically like we got out of the game in the first one or whatever. And like we, we stopped being an assassin, I'm guessing. And now we have to return to it because, you know, people want to be dicks. It's kind of what I'm figuring here. Uh, maybe It's probably because I just watched it, but it's reminding me, you know, John Wick. <laughs> Assassin forced to get back into the game because nasty people are nasty. Uh, why can't I go through the door? Isn't this the way I came in? It said he was working his way up and was like, oh, you can definitely do pro. And then I was like, nope. <laughs> but it was a fun challenge. I mean, I definitely like a challenge, so I'm all for trying it out. And we'll see if I just get destroyed or not. We can always turn it back down and go down to normal or, or whatever, if need be. Okay. I thought when it said to go to the shed, I thought it was talking about that place. But I guess maybe the actual, like where we started at. Last one you played was a good bit. was Agency. one on 360. Patch me through to Diana. We need to confirm your ID registration, please. My number is BRO3886. Put Diana on. She'll recognize my voice. 47. This is Diana speaking. It's good to hear your voice again. We all thought you were dead. You'll be pleased to know your skills are in great demand these days. Okay. We are back, guys. I tried. I really tried to find a way to <laughs> to uh start a new game that so that we could go to easy mode or something like that and just could not figure out a way to make it work i was short of restarting the the entire game i don't know if it's fucking possible but i had some cheat codes pop up while i was uh doing a quick google search to see if it was possible and apparently one of the cheat codes is you change your first name to Walmart and then you change your last name to NASCAR and apparently you get $10 million. Yeah, look at that, dude. We now have $10,072,372. Look at us. We're fucking rich. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you can get 2 million prestige points for naming yourself you the man. Uh, 10 million fans for naming yourself Make Me Famous. Hey, thank you so much for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it, love. All Mr. Clean cars? What? Mr. Clean pit crew? Enabling progressive scan. Uh, wait. We'll render... 
It will render the view unusable. Oh, yeah, that's fine. When the game starts to load, hold circle and square. Oh. That would be nice, but it looks like we gotta restart the game to make that work. There's all kinds of cheat codes and stuff. Man, I miss when games had cheat codes as, like, the standard, you know? Instead of it being, like, an optional thing or whatever, I miss when that's just what games had. Or not an optional thing, but, like, a rare thing, I meant. You know, it used to just be games had fucking cheat codes. All of them, all the time. But these days, it's like, boy, you're fucking, you're lucky if you got cheat codes. Let's buy a fucking, wait, not Nextel, because I imagine that's, like, the big leagues but the the nascar national let's do that um sign a driver contract by your own we don't have any contracts because we suck at driving um cool we just purchased our own team how does that work oh it's simulating i'm guessing the first four weeks of races or whatever okay uh we're getting a phone call yep uh, okay, sponsor me, maybe? Hey, uh, oh god. Uh, I guess we just want to take the one that gives us the most money, right? So wait, they give us more up front, but less per race. They give me less up front, but more per race. How many races is it good for? Can we sign more than one? No. Okay. I guess AutoZone is now our sponsor. Because <laughs> why not? Um, can we just give ourselves the best fucking pit crew of all time? Can we, can we do that? I guess we probably can, huh? There we go. Do it. Yep. I've fully maxed them the fuck out. Uh, is there anything else we did, could do? Garage? Hey, I, I don't... Yeah, cool. Team design? I really don't care about that. Yeah, that's that... Honestly, that flat gray color there looks fine to me. Fuck! The game with its shitty-ass frame rate? Go down. Stop eating my inputs. Tune up. Engine? Uh, cool. So you can upgrade your shit, but only if you own your own team. And then I'm assuming whenever you sign a new contract... They'll tell you, like, if, you know, if you don't cheat, didn't get a bunch of money. I'm assuming whenever you get a new contract, you'll, uh... Okay. You'll get, like, better or worse cards or whatever. Also, guys, come on. Can you not play test your game just a little bit? Look at the last event line. And how the text is overflowing that text box. The fuck, dude? <laughs> like... What are you doing, man? How how are you gonna do that? Oh my lord. I'm just gonna lower the price of all of our gear a little bit because we suck, so I doubt anyone's gonna wanna buy it. Uh, that's the minimum. That must be the minimum. I think five dollars is just the minimum in general. That's the minimum for that. What's the minimum for a t-shirt? Set everything to one dollar above the minimum. Because, honestly, if you're buying my shit, you're uh, probably a real fan. Hire a driver to compete in race events for the team. I don't even have to fucking do the racing. I can make someone else do it for me. <laughs> IDK, I suggest just cheat and give yourself money, guys. Yeah, dude. If only that's how it worked in real life. So, wait a second. Let me see here. So I could either race with my, you know, shitty history that I have. I'm sure that would end well. Or I can pay T-Sheets <laughs> to race for me instead. You must finish all events of the current week. What? Are we not already in the events for the current week? Okay, whatever. I guess, I guess we'll do the race for this week. Or something. I don't know, man. Hey, what's up, OptiJack? Didn't know if you were going to make it to this one, man. Happy to see you, though. Are you having fun with this one? Honestly, kind of. Because <clears throat> besides the fact that it controls kind of like ass, um, the fight to the top mode that this one has is actually interesting. Like, you can, you, you make, 
Well, not make, but like you control your merchandise a little bit. You can you control your car a little bit. You can own your own race teams or race yourself, sign contracts and be part of other people's race teams. You can be a hero. You can be a villain. You can have rivals. You can have allies. And by having allies or rival, rivals or whatever, it'll change like how they act um, on the track. Some of them will try to help you out if you're an ally. Rivals might try to just, you know, straight up wreck you. And if I remember correctly from what I've played of this game whenever we were kids, um, I think you can also have special events with with your rivals. I think. But I could be I could be wrong. It could have been a different NASCAR game with similar with similar uh features. You actually remember this one? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm pretty sure it was this one. But uh, it may have been something. It may have been a different NASCAR game with very similar features, though. I don't. I don't know. Real life does have cheat codes. It's called bank robbery slash scams or being born to the right family. Them's the cheats, my guys. Yeah, but I mean, those cheats aren't really accessible to everyone. The first two, I mean, are just like, fuck that. Um, <laughs> and the last one there, you sadly have no control over. I mean, yeah. This one has some street racing. Yeah, at least at least the very first race was street racing. Um, all we did was the very first race. And then we did a couple of the Featherlight races and realized that I fucking suck at the game. Um, either I suck at the fucking game or it's just a really bad car in the beginning of the game. Probably a mix of both is the conclusion that I came to. Anyways, and then uh, I was like, okay, maybe I'll put it on easy mode so that we don't, like, suck as bad. Sorry, trying to focus a tiny bit. Couldn't figure out how to put it in easy mode, though, but I did see cheat codes. Uh, the cheat codes are Walmart as your first name and NASCAR as your last name, and you get $10 million for doing so. So, fuck yeah, dude. You wonder if you're a mechanic, you have your own... Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, so no one else is going to know what the hell you're talking about. Optijack's mechanic, Opti well, his car, broke down uh, in a pretty bad way, so he had to take it to a mechanic. And the mechanic that he took it to just so happened to be an ex ass car uh, mechanic, which was interesting. And uh, we would probably get a lot better time on this here lap if we weren't you know making love to the wall over there that'd be uh that'd be a, a good one he did the truck series that is available in this game the the nascar trucks one a oh, racer he was a racer not a mechanic my bad whatever this is your favorite nascar game canadians fan from what i remember of it mine too i remember playing this one or at least one very similar to it when i was a kid and i actually enjoyed it which for a nascar game is saying something you know what i mean just because like nascar games for me at least have never been that intriguing but they actually did interesting things with the one this one just being able to start your own team hire a driver for your team control the merchandising to some level uh the whole ally system and whatnot like actually kind of fun interesting i like it i like it it's, it's a good game. It's a PS2 game. I, I think when I was a kid, we had it for Xbox. And uh, even though I obviously love Sony stuff, I will say, I think this game ran better on the Xbox from memory. But I may just be looking at it with rose-tinted glasses because that was, you know, 15 years ago or something like that that I was playing. So there's a decent chance that uh, that that I'm just looking at it with rose tinted glasses, and it didn't actually run any better on Xbox. But all I know is like it doesn't run terribly here on uh on PS2, but the controls are a lot touchier than I remember them being, for one thing, and then also oh god, um. The frame rate just is a little bit lower than I remember it being. Oh, shit. Hi there. Why did everyone stop all of a sudden? Uh, but anyway, so yeah. So I think this one may have been better on Xbox, but maybe not. I could be completely making that up. I don't know. Okay, we're actually... I mean, we got... 
we maxed out all of our stats, so I'd hope so. But I was gonna say we're actually doing decent. Like we're not we're not anywhere close to getting we're not anywhere close to getting, you know, in the top three. But uh we're not in last place either, which before we cheated in some money just so we could see what some of the other content was like. We were, you know, consistently getting bottom five. <laughs> Well, I say consistently, we only played, what, two or three races before we had to take a break? Oh, fuck. Keep wrecking and we're going to end up in the bottom five in no time. <laughs> uh, you lied, you just looked at his Wikipedia and he did Featherlight, actually. Oh. He was a crew chief for someone in the truck series. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. It's weird to me that your mechanic even has a Wikipedia page. You know what I mean? Like, that alone just feels weird. Oh, shit. We need to... Oh, God. Yep, that's a wall. Fuck. We're, we're falling behind. We were doing good, and now... Now we're screwing it up pretty, uh... Pretty well. <laughs> if there's one thing we can consistently do well, it is screw things up. That's for sure. I'm not sure if the assists are hurting... Or helping in this uh, in this case the the driving assists are hurting or helping oh god because like I'm trying to turn and I feel like it's trying to apply some anti skid or something like that and like I don't mind if I skid a little bit just let me fucking turn <laughs> I know drifting isn't the fastest way to make it around a corner. Oh, you're a dick. Mr. Bobby Hamilton Jr. There's a lounge fly going the dark Demogorgon bag. That's great, love. <laughs> Remember, you said yourself, you made this rule for yourself that you weren't getting any more bags until your next uh, birthday. Hey, Chocobo Enthusiast, thank you so much for the resub, man. I appreciate it. Oh my god, can we just catch back up to everyone? How are we gonna cheat, get max money, max out our car, and still be getting last fucking place? I mean, okay, yep, I think. <laughs> I think I think we might have just answered that question for ourselves, man. That right there, that's how we're gonna fucking do all that and uh, still get last fucking place. Holy shit. Well, I don't think we're literally in last, but we're, we're pretty far back. We've lost like 10 places in the past uh, four laps or whatever. So, that's uh, that's good. <laughs> why why are we skidding like that? Like, the, the starting to skid and then not finishing it. Oh my god. Is it is it a damage thing? Is it an assist thing? Oh god, we're fishtailing. Oh god. Oh god, we're fishtailing so bad. There we go. I think I think we need to go into the pit. I, I'm pretty sure they were saying something about our tire being fucked up. Yeah, I know we got low fuel game. I got it. Where where is the pit? Here's the pit. I'm trying to go in the pit. Honestly, I really am. I I promise you, I'm trying to go into the pit. I think I just missed it entirely though. Okay. Uh, what happens if we run out of fuel? On the plus side, we're in 20th place. 18, 17, 16, 15. Look at that, man. We're uh, <laughs> we're, we're making up uh, places like no one's business. Now, sure, we're doing it in a way where we're going to be fucked. But, like... <laughs> okay. So, we're number 105, right? Yeah. So, not here... But right here, slow the fuck down, go into the pit. This is the pit, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, do everything. Done. Sure, I don't know. You ate like half that lemon sorbet and you gave your daughter a bite of it too? Man, I'm, I'm really glad you liked it. Did you let it thaw out a fair bit first? Because that's like one of the problems with refreezing the, uh, the, the, the sorbet after it's made. Because like whenever you first make it, it's very, um... 
it's very smooth. It's very soft. It just kind of melts in the in the mouth, and uh, it's it's very very good. But once it freezes, refreezes, at least in my freezer, it does so hard. Like, it, it freezes hard. <laughs> Which, it's still good, but it's not the same as eating it as eating it fresh. If you lose, yeah, no, I've definitely lost, man. I'm not surprised. I, uh, I was hoping we would do a little bit better, but I'm obviously just not very good at this game. <laughs> like, so, yeah... I was trying to buy a driver to do this one for us, was my actual plan, um, but I, I couldn't because uh, we were in the middle of a week whenever I bought the team, so it made me finish it out before it would let me buy anyone. It seems to be a lot of games that change small shit like that around this time. Oh, oh, your comment about the uh, UI seeming to be a bit different. Yeah, yeah. I think the UI was different. I think this one here runs at a lower resolution. Um, I think it might be a little lower frame rate. Maybe not, though. And then I feel like... I feel like it controlled better on the Xbox, too. And I don't know if that's related to the frame rate, possibly. Or, or again, if it's just rose-tinted glasses and it, it doesn't control as well as I remember it controlling. But I'm just comparing it to, like, Gran Turismo 7, which, again, is the, the only racing game I've played recently. And, um... And, yeah, it, it just doesn't control anywhere near as well as that game does. It was actually pretty soft when you got home. That's awesome, man. The only part that wasn't super smooth was right at the edges. Yeah, which actually, that's the way, funnily enough, that's how it comes out of the sorbet machine, too. Um, because the, the blades that churn it all up can't get right to the edge. Because if it did, it would be, you know, scratching the, the plastics of the container. So what I normally do, since I don't sit down and eat a whole pint in this sitting, um, or even half a pint, but, you know, for myself, and then half a pint for noodle, not even that, we usually eat about a quarter. Anyway, so what I usually do is I'll, I'll scoop out of the middle, get all the stuff that's been blended up real nice and smooth, like, and then put the rest of it, like, scrape it off the edges and put it down in the center, so that whenever I re-blend it to soften it back up, It'll, uh, it'll get any of the small icy bits that weren't, uh, properly, that weren't properly turned into sorbet. See, once I get away from everybody, <laughs> I can kind of get into a groove. I don't know if it's enough to, to catch up to anyone else or anything, but, like, I'm not wrecking. So that's something. I think if we ever return to this game, we're probably going to have to put it down on easy mode. Because I, I just don't see any other way we're ever going to make any progress, man. Just like, again, we maxed out the fucking car. Like everything that it would let us change, we, we put at max. Uh, with the $10 million that we had, and that still wasn't enough to make me good enough at the game to do anything. Like, yeah. So... <laughs> God, I, I don't like the, the glare in my eyes. That's, that's how the car feels. I'm looking at chat too much, not paying attention to the, to the game. I'm running into the walls again. slow down a little bit we're also skidding more it must be like uh something to do with the wire t the wire tear the tire wear or something like that the fresh tires seemed a, a lot easier to control with which i'm glad they simulate stuff like that don't get me wrong but, hey, but yeah at hey at least we finished yeah that's that's all we got <laughs> the only uh da -da -da -da, you just double checked our tickets i'm assuming that means they're good which is good i'm glad about that Oh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, Loungefly. Yeah, I saw, I don't know if they still make it or not, but I saw a customer at the store that I work at had a Loungefly Pokemon bag the other day, and it was really cute, actually. It had, 
it wasn't the type of bag you usually buy. It was more of a traditional style purse kind of thing. I don't know. Anyways, but it had all different kinds of Pokemon all around the outside of it. Um, really cute. And then on the inside, it was Pokeballs all through the inside of it, which was also cute. You knew it was Loungefly? I didn't know for sure, so I asked. And they said, yes, it was Loungefly. They don't remember where they bought it from, though. It's it's someone that I know, so I wasn't just, like, asking some random customer about their bag. Anyways, and uh, they didn't remember where they bought it, but they showed me, like, it and then the inside of it and whatnot. Like I said, it was, it was cute. I think you would have liked it if uh, if you could have seen it. Was it like an ombre one? No. You mean ombre like the color scheme? Cause no, it wasn't it wasn't anything like that. It was just I don't know, a bunch of different Pokemon on the outside. And then a bunch of different uh or sorry, a bunch of different Pokemon on the outside and then a bunch of different Pokeballs on the inside. Yeah, our buddy's wife, yeah. Um okay, so we can't do anything with the feather light one it seems like because yeah uh but we can maybe buy a team here yes buy a team cool and then can we max that out too oh it has to it has to do the first few weeks okay that's fine yep i don't care what you're getting oh my god i guess i have to listen to you oh we already our pit crew training goes for all of them very nice okay uh creepies <laughs> what the fuck i'm assuming the higher the number the better the rating so it's like rating 50 six thousand per race 55 rating six thousand six hundred per race 57 rating six thousand eight hundred per race like sure the signing bonus is smaller but i don't care about the signing bonus i want the the money over time like that's where it's at man uh, I don't care about the team design either. We do have to upgrade the cars separately, though. That's fine. We can we can handle it. Max it the fuck out. Yep. Cool, cool. Wait, what'd that say? Purchase engine upgrades to improve your... Oh, okay. That's just telling us about the car. Or about the thing that we're upgrading. Hire driver. Can we just have sheets drive everything? Oh, no, he's already active in NNS. Oh, so there's only one, two, three, four, five people that can drive for us. Okay, well, we'll take a uh, level six dude here and have him drive the truck, I guess. And then if we have enough money left over, which it looks like we do, we will buy a Nextel team. And then wait three years for the game to load. <laughs> Come on, game. You got this. So regular Pokeballs inside and not rainbow Pokeballs. It was it was they were I think they were rainbow. Pokeballs on the inside. But like the outside I don't think was rainbow or anything like that. I don't think. This is probably gonna be expensive, I imagine. Oh no, we're we're fine. Like yeah, it's expensive, but look at that. We still got two mil to spare, man. That should be enough to hire hire a driver, hopefully. Um, I guess Meadows. You are hired, sir. What do you mean you must finish all events? I thought I did. What events are there? I call bullshit. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I guess one of the uh, one of the teams we just bought must have had something like earlier in the week or today or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to get everything going and then progress one week for the for the shits and giggles, just to see what it what it was like owning the, all the different teams. All right, select event. Seriously. <laughs> oh, they had an event last week, week four. Okay. Is that... Is this one that we have to drive? I think it is. I think it's one of the... N N X next whatever the fuck it's called. It's in the Discord now? I'll have to take a look at it. There's a backpack, a wallet, and a crossbody? I don't think they had the backpack... 
or wallet. It may have been a crossbody, but if it was, it wasn't the style of crossbody Las you Vegas usually get. City of bright lights and big names. But I haven't actually looked at it in the Discord yet, so I mean... Oh, okay. Gotta drive. Is there a way to just, like... Share Draft Intimidator? Okay, you know what? Is there a way to just, like... Yeah. Does that finish the race for us? Because I just want to get to the next week to see what owning the teams is like. We'll do we'll do whatever race the last race is for, for that. Yes, good, good, good. Okay, so go back. Come on, game. The saving takes forever, but that's probably probably mostly my fault for having that aftermarket memory card that I that I usually use instead of the official one. What I should do is put the since some games have compatibility issues and there is this like super long save time for some games, what I should do is take the official memory card that I own and put that in the first slot, memory card slot one, and then use the big one as just like a, a backup slash, you know, whatever. But I don't know. I'm stupid. There we go. Okay. So now we have people assigned to everything except for the feather light because we're still under contract for 43 weeks, 45, six, seven weeks. <laughs> can't can't do shit about that i guess man i saw one of the the things on like the the cheat page that i was on for cheats for this game was uh unlimited money and now that i have bought as far as i can tell everything what do you need unlimited money for like 10 million was unlimited money i guess maybe after you finish up the first year maybe you'll have to hire new people or something and you'll need more money for that i honestly don't know i'm, I'm confused what you would need it for ah uh, it doesn't like let you see the the races that your drivers are doing or whatever it just simulates in the background that's too bad i was i was hoping that you would actually be able to like watch your person race if you wanted to right i i wouldn't want to be forced to to watch them race all the time that would get annoying i feel like but it would be cool if we could actually, if we could watch if we wanted to. Well, that's too bad. Okay, well, whatever. Qualify. Qualify. It would also be nice if it told us the results. Like, right, right whenever the simulation happens. Yeah, no, it doesn't actually show us what our racer got. We have to... I'm guessing we would have to go back and go to the... Uh, go to the to the stat screen or whatever to see what our racers got. I want to know. We're going to do one more race before we finish up. But I want to know what my racers got, man. <laughs> did, they, did they suck ass? Did they do decent? I have no idea. The game didn't tell me. Seems like a bit of an oversight there. Season info. Uh, standings maybe. I don't know. That's that's whatever. Pull words. Calendar. Can I see it from here? No. Contract performance. What game? I need you to tell me how my dudes are doing. I guess if I go to race shop, I can see it from here, I think. So if I go here, go to hire driver, and then L1 stats. Events 2, wins 0, finish 25? Really? You're level 8. Finish 2, okay. So top 5s, top 10s, events 1. Events 2, finish 25. Wow. Do you really like... Oh, wow, you won yours. Huh, okay, so maybe maybe Meadows just got unlucky in his races or something like that. Cause I was gonna say, like, from level ten to level eight must be a huge drop in in skill level if uh level ten is winning theirs and level eight's getting twenty fifth. <laughs> but then level the level six dude or whatever he was, level five or six dude got fucking first place. So I don't know. Maybe some of them are better with different types of vehicles 
Maybe it's just more challenging at the the high level the races. I I really have no idea, man. I'm talking on my ass. I don't know. Oh fuck. My goal is to wreck number 56, 156 without wrecking myself, but that that goal seems unattainable already considering we're already way behind the pack and we've hit the fucking wall. Oh my god, come on. I miss I miss Gran Turismo 7. That's what this game is teaching me. It's I really like I really like the story mode. I really like the way they structured that. I want this game and Gran Turismo 7 to have a baby together is honestly what I want, you know? I want the interesting story and progression mode of this, but I want the mechanics of of Gran Turismo 7, the way the racing works, the way the racing feels in that game. I want that, but I want to be able to wreck people and have them get angry at me or help people and then be thankful to me and to hire my own teams of racers. That's something you could do in, what was it, Gran Turismo 5, if I remember correctly, right? Like, you could you could hire racers to do certain events for you and things like that. And that was a really neat thing. Like, they would earn you a little bit of income in the background or whatever, and you could, you know, level them up and see their stats and shit. But I guess maybe, maybe it wasn't a very popular feature or something. I don't know, but I thought it was neat. I remember with Gran Turismo, I'm pretty sure it was Gran Turismo 5, I used to have my brothers uh, play some of the races for me just to grind money so that I could buy new cars and shit when I didn't <laughs> when I didn't feel like doing it. And uh, hey, it's the good life, man. What are what are little brothers for if you can't uh, force them into some, some video game grinding for you? <laughs> hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits. Love, I appreciate you. Your bits make my day. <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't look at chat. Chat makes you run into the wall. It's completely unrealistic the way that it, uh, the way that it does it. But every time we hit the wall, do you see how it transfers the paint to the wall? It's a neat little touch. I like that it does it, but it looks like, I don't know. It just looks way off to me. I've never hit a wall in a vehicle before, so I could be wrong. Maybe that's exactly what paint transfer looks like from a vehicle to a car. But uh, I don't know. It, it looks really, it looks really off, man. I'm trying to work on the line, man. The fuck are you yelling at me for? Look, if you hate me that bad, get yourself a new driver. I'll just go buy my own feather light team and. <laughs> Don't you know I have $10 million uh, in Walmart NASCAR sponsor money, so <laughs> all I had to do was legally change my name to Walmart NASCAR. Hey, yo, for real, though, Walmart NASCAR, if you want, I will legally change my name to Walmart NASCAR for $10 million. I'm just throwing that out there. I'll do it. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even think about it. You put a piece of paper in front of me that says, here's 10 mil, go change your name. I'm going to change my name. And you best believe I'll make everyone call me Walmart NASCAR. Like, nah. There's no friends and family. They ain't calling me by my real name. All of you guys on stream, I'm not stream no more, baby. I'm Walmart NASCAR, okay? <laughs> uh, that goes for you too, Noodle. You can make that face all you want, but yep. It's going to be Walmart NASCAR. Whenever we finally get married, that priest, Walmart NASCAR, do you take... <laughs> do you take Mr. Noodle to love and hold or whatever the fuck the, the wedding stuff is? Because Lord knows I don't remember them. No. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? You're telling me that if Walmart and or NASCAR came up to us right now, and was like, hey, we will give you $10 million if he changes his name and you guys use that name for everything. 
You wouldn't call me Walmart NASCAR for ten million dollars? That is that's enough money to be set for life, especially where we live. Like, I've done the math and and well, okay. The current inflation rate might uh fuck it up a little bit. But with standard inflation rates, um two to two and a half million would have been enough to live for the rest of our lives. Like, and I did this math a long time ago, so it'd be even less now, right? So $10 million, we would not only be able to live the rest of our lives off of that, we would be able to live comfortably where we're at for the rest of our lives, even if inflation keeps being a giant pain in the ass. Like, <laughs> so like, hmm. You best get used to calling me Walmart NASCAR, because that's what's that's what's about to happen, dude. How? Why? Why did they all pull so far ahead of us in the beginning of the race, and then at the end of the race we were able to actually start catching up to them? Did I did I start racing better in the later half of it, or did they get worse? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that works, man. They won't know I'm not calling you Walmart NASCAR. I will put microphones in my house if they tell me that's what I need to do for $10 million. <laughs> they they can have a microphone embedded in my fucking like arm or something like that so that they can hear that every time someone calls me my old name, I correct them. I will do that for $10 million. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, dude. It's $10 million. I would do that. Walmart NASCAR, hit me up, dude. <laughs> Anyways, guys, all that aside, uh, I'm done pissing off my girlfriend, I guess. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and call it here for a night. It's a little bit earlier than what I've been trying to end them at recently. But again, Noodle and I have a little date day that we're going out for tomorrow. So we're going to, I'm going to hop off. Um, I would say go to bed, but I hardly ever go to bed this early. It's, it's extremely rare, but at least get settled down and ready for bed and things so that we can get up somewhat early tomorrow to go and have our fun. Thank you, everyone, for coming and hanging out with me for a couple hours while I streamed some NASCAR. I really do appreciate it. Noodle, Nate, Rue, Optijack, Chocobo. Uh, Rue and Chocobo, both of you, thank you so much for the resubs. I appreciate that, too. Seriously, guys, y'all are the best. Uh, I will see you again. The fuck is today, anyways, dude? Today's Tuesday. So not tomorrow, but Thursday. We will be back Thursday with more PS2 something. It could end up being another NASCAR game. Probably won't be. But who knows, man? It's up to fucking RNG. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Diana, I'm not looking for work. I need some information on a Giuseppe Giuliano from Palermo, Sicily. What have you got? Let me see. Giuseppe. Oh, yes. I've got a fat file. Giuseppe Giuliano, aka Don Aguilo Giuliano, capo of one of the largest, oldest, and most influential mafia organizations in Sicily. I need detailed satellite surveillance on his residence, and info on security and access routes. And keep an eye out for a priest. He's a friend of mine and was kidnapped. A friend? Have you gone soft, 47? Besides, we don't believe in handing over information for free. How do you think you're going to pay us back? I've heard that you're extremely wealthy. Yes, I know. I've heard that rumor too. It's not true though, but I'm sure you can suggest an arrangement. I'll pull a few strings and see what I can do. Actually, I do have a special request for you to perform a contract assignment. Should be a simple operation. A mission? Exactly. If you accept, I might be able to give you the requested information very soon. What do you say, 47? Still sharp enough to handle a job these days? Oh, I think we can handle it. It's been Maybe. A while, 47. So let's just run through the basic Talk, 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 talk. Okay. Agent Whatever. Uh, sure you're not too you were right the last one you play, he went rogue in. Nice. You don't remember which one that was, though, do you? If you're ready, you can enter your garden shed and start the mission by activating the laptop. Is this how we... 
practice. I wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, this is the church. Okay. Triangle is inventory. So we have a silver baller, 45 semi-automatic handgun, and a kitchen knife. We also have some lockpicks. Okay. It's cool. And then...